Okay, in this, um, in this problem it says to find the area of the region enclosed by one arc of the curve y equals sine 2x and the x-axis. Um, so some general knowledge of what a sine function looks like is needed. Sometimes making a sketch is, is helpful. So the sine function looks like this, the parent function. And we're asked to find the region enclosed by one, one arch. So we're asked to find this region. Um, a period of a sine function is going to equal 2 pi over b. And in our case, b is equal to 2. b is the coefficient of x. So in our problem, the period is 2 pi over 2, which is pi. So the period, so the time needed to complete one, one cycle, would be pi. Therefore, our, our first x-intercept, our first positive x-intercept, is pi over 2. So now we can write our, our integral. So we're going to have to find the integral starting at, at 0, and we're going to go to pi over 2 of the function sine of 2x with respect to x. And next step is to find the antiderivative, which would be um, so because we have a 2x in there, that's a linear, we would have to multiply by the reciprocal of the derivative of 2x, so that's 1 half. So it's 1 half times, and the antiderivative of sine is negative cosine, and we have negative cosine of 2x, and we have to evaluate from from 0 to pi over 2. Um, I, can, I can factor the negative out and say that this is negative 1 half. Um, now I have to find the cosine of 2 times pi over 2, which would be pi and I have to subtract the cosine of 2 times 0, which is 0. And now some knowledge of the, the unit circle is required. So we're going to have our negative 1 half, the cosine of pi, cosine of pi is, so let me just real quick draw what that looks like. We have our unit circle, we have xy coordinates, and every coordinate can also be rewritten as the cosine theta, sine theta. Just remember alphabetical order, x before y, cosine before sine, c before s. And the cosine of pi, angle pi is over here, so the cosine would be the x coordinate, which is negative 1. And now we have to subtract the cosine of 0. The 0 degrees is over here. So the cosine of 0 is 1. And we have our negative 1 half, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative times negative gives us a positive. So our final answer is one unit squared. We're going to check our answer with technology and see if we're correct. So we have our function sine of 2x. We can graph it. And we're going to find the definite integral. So calculate 
option seven. Our lower limit is zero. Our upper limit is pi divided by two. Mm -hmm. And our answer is 